Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to episode 3 of the Auto Drive Auto series. Today we're going to be looking at adding to existing routes. How do you go about adding to another route that already exists? Say if I wanted to create a route from the route we have here, which goes from the silo to the restaurant to sell us crops. What if I wanted to make a route that went up to the shop instead? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do it. First, we need to move up and we need to start creating a new route. So I'll pull up just here. I'll left click on the record button to create a single direction route. And then what I'll do is I'll drive to the shop. As you can see, the green route is being plotted. This is used for one direction. You can see which way your traffic will be going just by looking at which way they are at the point in the line. When I get to the shop, I'll just stop. Create a new waypoint, call it shop. And then we'll back, drive back down to the start. I'll stop just here, stop the recording. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press left control to bring up the advanced editing menu. If I left click on any area, it'll put a waypoint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a waypoint all the way up to the other side. To there. Now if I click on each waypoint, I can add a route to it. So if I add the route all the way down, and then just join it onto the route at the end. This route here, I don't want this route being in this position, because it will make the corner too sharp. So what I'll do, is I'll click on the start of the waypoint, Click on the one I want to remove and it will remove it. I'll add another waypoint and then I'll start from this one. It went wrong direction so if I click it again to remove it. Click the direction I want it to go and it'll put that route in. Do that again and it'll add a waypoint in. So now I've connected both courses up. So the tractor will drive either to the restaurant or it will follow the route and drive to the shop. I'll save that, just save it under route 1. Now if I go into his menu, you'll see we've got restaurant, shop and silo. So what I'll do, if I quick shop, quick go it'll automatically drive now to the shop but because all those routes are one way it'll go the longest route and it'll follow it all the way down to the silo and back up to the shop if I'd have used the purple or blue line I could have just simply turn the tractor around and drove either direction on the route as it supports multi-directional traffic 
the green line is just support single wave traffic so if you go to a waypoint you've got to make your route to get to the waypoint where the destination is and then back to the start again jump out and move this tractor out of the way before it gets crashed and stuff If you press left control you can modify any rules that you already have in place just by simply keeping your finger on left control and then using your left mouse button to click on waypoints to delete them or you can use your right mouse button to move waypoints to line them up properly. As you can see, we're coming to the start of a shot course now. The tractor just carries on following the route we've just plotted. When it gets to the shot waypoint, it'll stop and tell us that it's reached its destination. Coming up to the shot waypoint now. And as you can see, it's telling us that the tractor's reached the shot. I'll set it back to the silo again. Set it going. It'll automatically follow it through straight back to the silo. But what if we wanted to go from the shop to the restaurant? Well, we'll just do exactly the same again. When we get to the end here, I'll stop the tractor and I'll set up a little corner so we can get to the restaurant from the shop and vice versa. So if I stop it there, move the tractor back a bit, what we'll do is we'll left control again while holding left control left click on the mouse button to place waypoints and then if I left click on the waypoint and join them all up as you can see now going from, from the shop we can get to the restaurant so if we do again, places waypoint, I put that in wrong, so I'll remove that one. I put that one, join them all up again as we did before. So now we can go from the restaurant to the shop, and from the shop to the restaurant, we can go from the silo to the restaurant, we can go from the silo to the shop, and vice versa. Save that route again, just overwrite it. So if I just back the tractor up a bit, I'll set this waypoint now to the restaurant we go the tractor now will follow the course we've just made and it'll go straight to the restaurant
if for example this corner had fences either side of the road and a tractor or trailer were colliding with a fence because we've gone too close all we need to do again is go into the advanced editing menu left control and if, if we right click on it we can move as waypoints to make them far away from the corner or closer so if I just alter these out a little bit As you can see we've made that corner now so it takes it a wider angle so if there were any fences here we clear the fences and still make it round we are having to make a new course again. You can modify your lines without having to save it again but I always save it just in case the game crashes or anything. Now we've reached restaurant, I'll set it to the shop. As you can see, it's taking the room we've just plotted. back at the shop again. Hopefully you found this basic auto drive tutorial helpful. Don't forget, leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.